I was in the bathroom. I was in the handicap stall. I always take the handicap stall. I think it's survival of the fittest in the bathroom, right? Especially at an airport, right? If I'm having diarrhea and you come in, I almost just said if you come crib walking in, but I'm not going to say that. If I'm having diarrhea at the airport, I don't give a fuck if you wheel in or what. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm in that, I'm taking over, dude, because you're, I'm at this point until the shit gets out of my body and I wipe, I'm disabled. I'm disabled. Okay. There's some people in my chat who are big fans who are in wheelchairs. I see you in chat. I see you down there. Okay. One's in chat if you're in a wheelchair, right? Uh, stairs. You can't get to the top of stairs without handicap access, right? Or some sort of help, right? Is that fair? Well, when I'm about to have diarrhea shit my pants, I also cannot get to the top of stairs without some sort of help. In fact, Shout I can to the meals on wheels. I, I can barely move. I can barely move, right? So anyway, I, I'm in. I'm at the airport, <clears throat> and I'm having. I just had some Chick Fil A with my boy, and my girl. Uh, and uh, I go to the bathroom. I'm running, and I go into the handicap stall, and I blow out, and it's not. It's not uh, going away. <clears throat> which is usually alarming because I'm about to board a five and a half hour flight. And I'm like, this needs to stop. Right. And, and, and usually if you have a big poop and it's not stopping, it's like, okay, something's wrong with my tum tum. So I'm on there. I start browsing Reddit and there's a post of Sasha Bar Baron, Sasha from Borat. It's the, it's the hard R N word over and over and over again. Long story short, there's a, I was just browsing Reddit on, on Reddit is fun, just on mobile. And, uh, no videos have played yet. I'm just kind of looking. Ask Reddit. Okay. Nurses of Reddit. How big are your nipples? Like all that weird shit, right? And I um, I come across a video and I hit play. <clears throat> and uh, the volume is, is what it is. Um, and suddenly the video changes to a guy screaming the N-word hard R over and over and over and over. And I quickly, I'm on the shitter and I panic and I turn it down. And there are dudes one, two, three down the line in stalls shitting next to me. Okay. It's a crowded airport. And I'm just sitting there, this little white man diarrheaing. Not only am I like, okay, I'm not handicapped, but now I'm super racist sitting here. So I'm like, all right, I guess I just have to hide for enough time until everyone who was in here when that happened is now gone. So I'm just sitting here and I'm kind of just like frozen, not sure what to do. So I start scrolling the through the Reddit comments, and the top comment immediately makes me laugh out loud. It goes, I was outside with my volume all the way up. I'm like, I'm not alone. I'm not the only one. So I'm scrolling. I'm just deep in the comments. Again, not really thinking, just kind of panicking. I'm scrolling, and this is painful to me, by the way. Uh, there's a Reddit comment, and I'm not used to this happening, and it just says, Wubby, is that you? This is not on my subreddit. I had no involvement in this fucking post. Nothing. But there's just a comment. Wubby, is that you? Referring to the man screaming the N-word in the video. Hey, goddamn, I nearly shit my pen. Okay, so let me show you what I replied with. So I explained the situation to my boy here. Bro, I'm in an airport toilet right now. This played full volume and I cannot leave until I'm certain everyone heard this is cycled out. So I said that. He didn't even tag. This person Lord didn't even tag me. I'm about to bust. So they just asked if it was me. Which, which killed me. I was very like, wow, I'm so famous. <laughs> and at least I'm known for the right things, you know? And then, to make it worse, I'm like, that was kind of a funny little interaction. Um, somebody else, irrelevant to everything, found that co post and that comment in that thread and screenshot the whole fucking thing and put it on Reddit. Uh, when you comment that a man repeatedly saying the n-word in a video looks like Wubby and Wubby happens to co Oh wait, this is the same guy. Oh, he did it. You fucker. I just realized it was the same guy. Why can't you let me have this dude? It's the same guy. And then you know what really broke my heart? Some dude. I got- I got dragged for this. Who the fuck is playing full volume videos in public bathrooms? Wubby, you can afford AirPods. Dude, I'm a human, man. Things, some, like, oh my god. Sometimes you just poop, dude. Sometimes you run to the bathroom and you shit. Okay? Thank you. And then there was, okay, hold on. There was a really mean comment that, that, here we go. Fucking Adri, Ro, a, a, 80 Royt, 171 points, said, he saw an eight-hour-old comment with three upvotes. I'm convinced he goes to post, does the find-on page, and searches his name. 
Y'all must think I'm a fucking egomaniac. I do not. I didn't even know that was a thing on mobile, by the way, which I commented. Apparently it is. I learned it is. Did not know. I do do it now. Of course I do now, as of today. Like, you guys don't understand. I hit go offline. I'm no longer wubby, okay? You know what I am? You know what I am when I go offline? I'm over it. Fuck all y'all. I'm, I'm not sitting here going, Haha, that's me. I hope someone's talking about me. I'm Denz. I go offline. I'm Denz from that point on. You ever seen the Disney D? The Disney D? Yeah. Yeah, like, you know how Disney with a D? I always thought it was Star. a backwards G and not a D. And I was like, why does he sign his name like that? Do you know what I'm saying? I was I, I always thought it was a backwards G. And I always wondered why he signed his name like that. Okay. I can't. Disney. Wouldn't relate. it be Disney? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said Disney, and I wasn't gonna correct you because I didn't want to laugh. <laughs> I like Disney. But look, 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 you can actually see it when they capitalize it. You can sort of see what I'm talking about. Look, look, when they type cap, I'll just show you on screen. Look at the screen. Look at this. Hold on. Let's stop. 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 You're freaking me out. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look. You can sort of see it when I put it on the screen. You can see what I mean. It kind of looks like Disney. Like, see how. Because it's a G. No. <laughs> Listen to me. It looks like Disney. <laughs> <laughs> yes! You got by the, the, the Disney thing, didn't you? TT, add one to Alex and one to Disney. Disney with a G. You know what I'm saying. No, I don't. That's what sucks, man, is that you really don't. Is that a carrot? Oh, uh, it might be a potato. Okay, I knew you were going to fucking do this. So we're going to do this now. We're going to air this out right now. We're going to air this out right now. All right, we went to dinner last night with some friends, okay? And my I got uh, bi beef, uh, beef brisket with risotto, okay? And on it came a potato. It was, a, it was a little circular thing with roots hanging out. And we're all, I ate my whole meal, and I didn't want to touch it because it's just like a grilled whole potato had roots coming out. I was like, oh, this is really, like, rustic, okay? And, and, and we're all talking, and Peanut's like, oh, why didn't you eat your potato? And we're like, oh, whatever. And then Alex goes, that's a carrot. And the whole table, what are you fucking talking about? That's a fucking potato, blah, 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 Okay. And we're, we're like making fun of her like, how could you be so stupid? It's a little circular potato. The entire table. Oh, and then stupid. we cut it open and it was a carrot. And then the server came over and I'm like, do you know what that you is? suck. And she's like, that's an heirloom carrot. Yeah, that's a carrot. And then I said, put yourself in the mindset of someone who's never seen one of these. Does it look like a potato? And she said, no, it looks like an heirloom carrot. I don't need a pol pulse check on chat here. What the fuck is an heirloom carrot? It just means little. It just means little, Alex. Yeah. What? That's not what heirloom means. You suck. Well, Have you seen an heirloom vegetables. tomato? Yeah, they're little. They look fuckable. No, they're not. What? I thought all heirloom is, is little. Heirloom means I carrot. Thought, I thought... So... Carrot tomato? Okay, Chad's making me so much more confused now. Why? I, I don't know what they're saying. Somebody said heirloom means mild. Wild, whoopee. Is this why you thought it was Disney? Disney? I thought it was Disney, you dipshit. I just didn't, I just didn't. I... <laughs> Fuck, I'm funny. You're a cunt. You know that? You know what she just did? She paused my chat in fear like something bad just was said in my chat and she pointed to a guy and just said, TV fart. Let me give you a reason to be watching stream at this point. All right, so my mom, uh, uh, I had her the other day while I was out of the house. Uh, she came by because she wanted to. I let my mother come by to check on the cats uh, and just, you know, play with them. She wants to. The cats, sorry, the cat, I misspoke. She does that and, and, and whatever, it's all fine. A few days pass and my mom texts me, hey, I have a funny story to tell you. Remind me to tell you. So my mom comes by back over to the house a few days later and she's like, do you have time? I wanna tell you this funny story. And I'm like, we're going out to dinner as a family soon. Just tell it at dinner. And she's like, oh, cause I, I was working on something. She's like, oh, okay, sounds good. It's just so funny, I'll tell you at dinner. I'm like, okay, sounds good. 
So I get a call the next day from my mother early in the morning and she goes, Hey, Dennis, I spoke to your brother and I told him the story and he said to call you immediately. So I'm just going to tell you now. And I'm like, huh? Okay. I, sure. I guess. <sighs> okay. I want to first preface this by saying I love my mother. My mother, uh, you know, she did what she could to give us a great life. And I, and I do love her. And I, my mom is much like my father, much like me, much like every one of you in chat. You know, this is not going to be good if I'm setting it up like this. We're all flawed human beings. I have my flaws. Everyone has their flaws. I'm very flawed. I really am. And, and, and humble farming. I don't know what that means. Cause I'm an adult, uh, but we're all flawed. And today I'm going to share with you a flaw that my mother revealed to me that I, 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 my dad shits in parking lots. Okay. And it's disgusting. And, and I can't look him in the eye since. Okay. Well, my mom, and this one's less funny. I don't want you to judge my mom, but my mom is older, you know, and she doesn't have, you know, she, she wears glasses on this day. She was playing with the cat. She did not have her glasses. So my, uh, uh, she's like, okay, here's the funny story. Your brother wanted me to tell you, so I'm not going to wait for dinner. So I, I was playing with HP and I noticed he was, uh, playing with, uh, like a little fake little toy mouse. And she's like, wow, that, that mouse looks really real. Uh, Wubby must have a lot of money to get like really good fake mice. And so she goes and she picks it up and she throws it to the cat and the cat kind of bats it and she goes and goes. And then she picks it up a third time and she realizes that she's like, she didn't have her glasses on. She realizes that this mouse uh, was not a fake mouse, but a dead mouse that had somehow gotten into the home. And uh, I'm assuming HP killed it and fucked with it till it died. Or it just died and then HP found it. HP was fine, by the way. This was over a week ago. He's not sick or anything. He's, he, he's no scratches or anything. So first off, she found it hilarious that she was throwing around a dead mouse. And I was like, Mom, this is kind of disturbing. But the other side of it was I'm like, Mom, you presented this story to me that you had a funny story to tell over dinner. Do you not think that it is the play when you find a dead mouse in my home to let me know same fucking day. Nay, same hour. She's like, I, I just thought it was funny. I thought it was, you know, I thought it was something we could discuss later. I'm like, mom, you found it. Like, I want you to think about it like this, mother. You found a dead animal in my home and it took you nearly a week to let me know. It's not a big issue, bro. Oh, it's not a big issue. It's not. So you just have dead animals in your home and sometimes you bring it up. It's a mouse, bro, chill. Dude, I'm telling you right now, you are the definition of a, of a wrong take. What are you? Hold on. Everyone's saying it's not a big deal. What are you talking about? One mouse in a bubble in a vacuum is probably not a big deal, but that could imply some level of infestation. Also, what if the mouse was sick? You didn't tell me my cats could be sick. I came home and interacted with the cat too. That's kind of gross to me. I feel like if you're in somebody's home and you find a dead animal on the floor, it is your, what are you talking about? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I am, hold on, hold on. There were people in chat genuinely saying that's not a big deal. No, what are you talking about? I immediately got called an exterminator. I was like, hey, I found a dead mouse in my home. What's the play? And they're like, well, they might be living in your walls. We need to come look, yada, yada. We're going to be out there in five days. And I'm like, cool, five days on top of the seven. Now, 12 days later, there could be 18 million mice in my fucking home, dude. What are you talking about? HP is not an outdoor cat. He has never been outside of this house ever, unless he was in the car when we picked him up. I'm serious. Catch me at TwitchCon. If you have this take, I will be punching Jaws. I'm not lying. I will, you know, no, no, no. I don't even need to punch Jaws. Give me your home address. I'm going to be dumping off a shitload of dead animals. You better not even bring it up. Okay. You're going to find a small dead cat on your pillow. People are saying mouse or a rat. I don't know. I'm not a fucking zoologist. I didn't take the time to ask the dead fucking thing. It was a dead, disgusting rodent. What are you fucking me? Oh, hey, excuse me. Hi. 
What genus are you a part of? You know what, chat? You're totally right. We actually have the same opinion. Let me explain this. Let me explain why we have the same opinion. Let me explain here. Because if I would have been told same day, grace period next day, it wouldn't be a big deal. Oh, thanks for letting me know, mom. I appreciate it. Yeah, no. Anyway, thanks for playing with the cat. Love you. Good night. That's totally fair. It's not a big, you're totally right. But to not tell me and to think it would be good dinner conversation nearly a week. Okay, man, the dinner wasn't even planned yet. When my mom came over, I was like, yeah, I'm trying to get a dinner planned with everybody. We'll see in the next couple of weeks when everyone's free. Was that your brother's take too? My brother who, by the way, uh, Harvard grad. Yeah, I always bring that up because it helps validate me. Uh, my brother, when he was told this, my brother was like, you need to call him right now. Like, what are you, why are you telling me? She's like, oh, I just thought it was funny. He's like, why doesn't he know? Like, you need to tell him. It's a, you found a dead mouse in his house. Call him. You know what, chat? You're totally right. It's not a big deal. And you in your little house, little meaning uh, small because you're poor. I'm kidding. Little being just yours, you know, little house. And my little house, okay? You and your little house, you get to make the rules about if you care about a mouse or not, right? In my house... I get to make the rules if I care about a dead mouse or not. So you can live in a fucking pigsty, okay? And scrape grandma off the couch when she dies. You can do that. I'm gonna live in a nice house that's well kept. And if you find, here, here we go. Cause I guess this wasn't clear. If you're in my house and you find anything dead, that's not an insect, an insect or a lizard, okay? If you find anything dead in my home, just let me know. Let me know. How about that, retards? How about that? Okay, let me know. I didn't know that was too far. Uh, people saying it's not a big deal are clearly not homeowners. I, like, I think what people are saying is it happens, which it's like, yeah, I'm not surprised it happened. I'm saying that there's a response that needs to be made when it does happen. And the response isn't, I'll just ignore this. We don't have any way for a rat to get in. I have no clue how it got in. It's concerning. I've also heard, see, there's more context too, but I shouldn't need to say this. We've had rats outside the house we've been trying to deal with. So now that they're in, it's kind of a bigger deal. And then my mom says, do you want to see a photo of it? I took a picture of it before I threw it away. She was like, I was going to bury it, but I didn't want to dig on your property. I'm like, oh, so you do respect the property. She's like, I was going to bury it, but I just threw it away. And then I'm like, okay, I don't, I don't want to hear about it. And she goes, I took a picture do you want to see it? I said, no, I do not want to see it. I'm not interested in seeing it. Thank you. I'm not interested. Two hours go by and my phone buzzes and it's a photo of the fucking dead mouse. And she goes, hey, just wanted to make sure you wanted to see it or not. So here it is in case you want to see it. I can't, it's just, I just, <sighs> my mom called then very late. She was very concerned. I was mad at her. And I was like, mom, I, I'm going to be very upfront with you. I, I am. I'm, I'm actually pretty mad at you. And, and she started, you know, she's oh, like, oh, why are you mad? Well, I'm like, I don't know what to say because what do you do when it's like, parent, you messed up and now you're in timeout. I don't even know. Like, well, I don't even know what to say. I was like, okay, well, good night. <laughs> what do you want from me? Pina, what's your take now that you're just here? I definitely would like to be known as soon as possible. The hell is that? That's fuck mice are gross. I don't want them in my home, especially a dead one. I've said this before, you were like, I don't know if HP killed it. And I've said this before to you. HP definitely didn't kill that fucking mouse. You know why? Because I <laughs> I said, if you were to put HP in a box with just a mouse, you wouldn't actually do this because it's cruel. But if you were to just put him in a box with him mm -hmm. and a mouse, mm -hmm. he has no survival instinct whatsoever. Mm -hmm. He would not kill the mouse and then eat it. I think they would just coexist for a while and then the mice would just take over HP. And HP would just <laughs> would write him. Yeah. You know what Fitz just said in chat? That was really morbid and really funny. He said, your mom probably killed it when she chucked it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Also, for the record, my mom wanted me to share the story on stream. Um, that's why she was telling it to me in the first place. Now, granted, me get my feelings about the story she wasn't expecting, but like, what am I going to tell? Oh, well, listen, I thought it was hilarious, Chet. Is she okay? No, it's over. It's over for my mom. Adam Sandler needs to be uh, uh, put down. Alex and I were browsing Netflix two nights ago looking for a movie, okay? We started to notice a trend. Let me explain my, the rabbit hole I went down. We started to notice a trend where the Netflix film seal, meaning Netflix made the movie, 
every time means the movie is fucking terrible. Let me explain. We Alex is like, oh, this looks good. This looks good. So we pull it up, put it into fucking Google to check the, the scores on IMDb, IMDb, Metacritic, and Rotten Tomatoes. Netflix literally in the past five years only produces dog water. And then Alex and I were like, okay, hold on now. Like, this is really bad. This is a bad look. But what is the, I'm like, how about we get high and let's watch the worst movie on Netflix? What's the lowest rated movie on Netflix? And there was a few of them. But the one that we landed on is a movie called The Ridiculous Six. It has a, uh, I think like a six or, or no, it has a 0% on Rotten Tomatoes. Alex was like, there's no way that's on Netflix. And I'm like, no, I, I looked up the worst movies on Netflix. It's on there. So we pull it up and I'm telling you, Adam Sandler deserves to be euthanized. How is this man allowed to make films? I couldn't believe it, dude. You know what? And then we watched 50 First Dates because, oh, that's a good Adam Sandler movie. They all suck. I can't, dude, what were we thinking? What were we fucking thinking, thinking this guy was funny ever? Now people are citing Uncut Gems. Ah, Uncut Gems. His performance in Uncut Gems was one of the best I've ever seen in my entire life. Good thing he had nothing to do with writing that movie because if he did, he probably would have fucking ruined it with his stupid diaper baby retard humor. Thank God he had nothing to do with Uncut Gems. Thank God the, the brothers, Zafdir, you know, Inshallah brothers took care of it because Adam That's Sandler, true. if he would have gotten his stupid little hands on it, would have fucked that up too. Happy Gilmore and Waterboy. I'll rewatch those two. I was offended at The Ridiculous Six. We couldn't even, we couldn't even finish the film. That, that doesn't happen often. We stopped it. Right when they met Terry Crews, and he made the joke, he said, I can play the piano with my penis. I turned it off. I, I was, I'm like, Alex, I'm done with this. It was so horrible. This happened actually a few nights ago. I, and that just should show you, I, I chose to not bring it up on two different streams uh, because I didn't want to start a whole Adam Sandler, you know, but God, I challenge all of you tonight, go watch The Ridiculous Six on Netflix. You'll want to kill yourself. Seriously, it will be the tipping point. Maybe don't watch it then. It's so lazy and awful and and red letter media has a really interesting theory about adam sandler he basically using his previous fame his snl previous fame he sells shitty tickets to shitty movies to retards like us so that he can get a large studio to pay for his retard movie and pay all his retard friends that's why you always see rob schneider in it that's why you always see the same six dudes in it because all it is, is it's essentially just money laundering. Let's be honest here. Either way, f forget all the Adam Sandler hate. That's fine. I don't want to hate him. Go watch The Ridiculous Six if you want to waste your night. It's so... Oh, dude, there's this part. Okay, hold on. I just have to explain it. I just Let me just explain this one part. He meets Rob Schneider, who I actually like Rob Schneider. I don't hate Rob Schneider. He does make me laugh. He meets Rob Schneider, who happens to be his brother in the movie, okay? And Rob Schneider is taking care of a donkey, and they have this long conversation. It's incredibly boring, this stupid whatever. It's plot. And then the conversation ends. This is a spoiler, and if you're sad about it, I don't give a shit. For no reason, the camera cuts to a wide, and the donkey has diarrhea against the wall. And he goes, oh, that means he likes you. I turned to Alex and I was livid. I was livid. It's like, what? What? Maybe, can I maybe pull up the clip for you guys? Also, I just want to, now that I'm talking about this fucking stupid shitty movie, there's a really uh, uncomfortable uh, bestiality joke that's made. Uh, there, Taylor, La Taylor, is that his name? Taylor? Ta the guy who was the hot guy in Twilight, Taylor Lautner, I had it right. There's a, he, by the way, I, I firmly believe this role killed his career. He plays, and I mean this fairly, he plays a retarded person. He, as, as Robert Downey Jr. would say, he went full retard for this movie. He really, he seriously did. And I believe firmly this movie killed his career. And there is a joke they use with him where he gets a blowjob from the donkey that shits itself. <laughs> okay, here, here's the scene. Here's the, this is the scene that I was telling you guys about. See, kind of a boring scene. That means I'm 
since he likes you. This is a serious movie that was put out. That's a reoccurring plot device, by the way. That shit gets him out of a few situations. If you laughed, evaluate yourself. Seriously. Oh, no! They made people, contestants on Survivor, watch Jack and Jill as a reward. Oh, no, they did it, these poor people. Oh, my God, that's a punishment. They wa Imagine being on Survivor. If, you, if you've been a long time viewer of the stream, we watched a full season on stream of Survivor legally through Amazon Prime. And um, when you win it, there's, these people are starving. They're bored out of their mind. They, they just want a grueling physical challenge against another team. And usually it's met with a massive reward, a day off, you know? And you're gonna put, the, you're gonna sit these people down and force them to watch Jack and Jill? You know, waterboarding is a hot ticket, you know? Is it torture, you know? Let's all agree as a community that forcing people to watch Jack and Jill is a fucking war crime. Ironically, it's very on brand for Adam Sandler, right? They, they take 30 people, throw them in a deserted island, starve them for almost a month, Deprive them of food, water, entertainment. This is this is Adam Sandler's core audience right here. Anyway, long story short, go watch Ridiculous Six. You'll regret it. It's awful. It's not funny. I've never been to an auto zone. So I went to AutoZone looking for a UV pen light to help with my resin printing. Okay, not I have a curing station, but I wanted for spot curing is a little UV light. It doesn't matter. I went in and I just went. It's a this is a very short and simple story. I just wanted to share with you. The strangest thing I've ever been told, and maybe maybe you guys can start using it now, much like the didn't ask. So we go up to the guy, and it's a uh, it's it's a dude wearing one of the like a mask, but like the one you pull up, which I'm like, okay, whatever. Um, and I go, hey, we're looking for like a UV flashlight, and I show him the photo, and he goes, um, I'm not sure if we have those. And then here we go. This is what he said. This is the moment that shaped the rest of the our time in the auto zone he goes i like that question that is an interesting question and then he walked away and alex and i are standing there like is that that's the end of our exchange oh i don't know like i don't know if we have those but but i like that question that is an interesting question and i'm like i'm glad where where have you gone normally like right you would expect me to be a dick or something but it was it like made us laugh we were like is this a joke? Like, maybe he's going to the back to get it and he was just fucking with us. It was literally a good question, Steve, and then walks away. NPC dialogue. Okay, but uh, slight little end to the story. We get in, we, we find a manager. There's only a couple people working in the store. And we're like, yeah, we've been walking around. We talk to him. He doesn't seem to know. Do you guys carry this? He put in the skew. He's like, yeah, a lot of people coming in with sticky fingers. He was saying, I guess people steal them. So I don't know. Do people use UV pens for drugs or something? I don't know. Anyway, um, and the dude who answered the original question came up to us and he goes, I was thinking about y'all after I walked away. And then he walked away again. If you do not believe me, you need to, Al I could bring in Alex. She is my witness. I have no... It's like this dude was like on, it was in a different fucking world. Oh, you're, oh, did I say something wrong? Yeah. What did he? Oh. It's funnier the way he said it. Oh, it's even funnier. Oh, this is good. Because when he saw we were getting help, he goes, oh, like, I'm glad you asked again. He goes, you know, you guys been on my mind since oh. you asked that question. And then he just walked away again. I'm like, what does that mean? I'm like, but you didn't think to look or help. Like we just been on. Yeah, but I've been thinking about it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> it's even funnier. Wow. All right, well, there you go. Also, there were homeless people socks right outside. Like, think Wicked Witch of the West. There was like white poop covered, disgusting homeless stock socks straight up, leaned up against the wall as we were leaving. It was gross, I don't know. Uh, I, I got my first time being in an auto zone. Being cheating. And very, very likely my last time going into an auto zone. I, 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 I could not feel more out of place there. Dude. I love dunking on incompetent fucking workers at a restaurant. Are you kidding me? Now, not kind people trying, people trying to pull the wool over your eyes because they're not doing their job correctly. I love dunking on these people. Are you kidding me? And I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna go into detail about how I dunked on this stupid bitch. And I, I literally on the way out, I did this thing where I was like, "Do you know what number I am? I'm number 36. Your restaurant could be over in minutes if I fire out a tweet. You know that, right?" And then I shit on her floor and I walked out. See, Alex left all that shit out, but that's where it got good. 
Okay, obviously I am joking to an extent, but this restaurant we went to was incompetent. And I, I'll have you know, my friends, people say, I've been criticized, Wubby, you, 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 sur you surround yourself with yes men. You surround yourself with yes men. No one's ever said that to me, actually, ever. But I'm sure people have thought it, okay? And I was really mad at the service at this place, so I said, you know what, guys? Me and my friends were there. Some mods who are, I'm good for, like, pe well, I'm just gonna say, Peanut, Ash, you know, DJ Maya, IRL friends that I have. Um, Alex was there, too. And uh, bad service. I won't get too into details. But at the end of it, I was like, all right, guys, I'm going to give you a choice here. I'm either going to tweet this out and tag the restaurant and explain my experience, or I'm going to talk to the manager. I'm like, it's your call. I'm like, I said, chat, friends, it's your call. And unanimously, they were like, do not tweet it out. And I'm like, why not? And they're like, it's going to cause so much trouble. And I'm like, then serve me properly, dude. I, okay, I don't care if I'm a Karen because here's the, you know what I hate about the Karen thing? You know what I hate about Karen culture? It is basically given an excuse to any sort of service worker to do a bad job because if I complain, I'm a Karen now. There are real reasons to complain at a restaurant. There really, really, really are. A hundred percent there are. Yeah, Karens are assholes and I love watching Karen comps because they're fucking insane and those people are evil and worse than anyone in the world, right? But, but... If a manager comes over and flops her tit out and lactates on my mac and cheese, I'm not going to be like, well, I can't complain because I don't want to be a Karen. Of course not, you dip. That's oddly specific. I told you, bro, the night was rough, bro. The night was rough, bro. I ordered golden wings, bro. I, I was the one to talk to the manager. And uh, she was such a bitch. I really want to out her whole fucking situation because she clearly has no clue. What she on the way out, I went up to the waiter and I said, hey, man, it's not your fault. Like, don't worry. I blame her. Also, I'm not tipping you. Kill yourself. I walked out of the fucking restaurant. The manager was so fucking stupid. Oh, dude. Blood boiling. I almost hit a woman that night. Let's We're in New York, though. dude. I almost hit a woman. I was boiling. Present Explain what happened. Okay, do you guys want to know what happened? No jokes. Three. No more memes. You want to know what happened? Let's so, go to a restaurant. Last night in New York. Hanging out. We go because they have golden wings. And they have this, like, mac and cheese thing. It's whatever. We show up, we order the golden wings for the table, and then we start ordering booze. <clears throat> and on their menu, that we scanned the QR code, on their menu, um, I order this like pumpkin drink. And my boy DJ tries to order a pineapple drink. And the waiter goes, <clears throat> actually we're not serving that. And then, he, and then DJ's like, okay, what about the coconut one? And the waiter goes, actually we're not serving that either. We're not serving any of our drinks except for the pumpkin one and dj's like all right i'll get the pumpkin one we're like okay that's weird whatever alex orders table side mac and cheese which means they come to your table they make the macaroni and cheese in front of you and it's like fancy mac anyway they don't have any other drinks and we're like okay alex orders table side mac and cheese which we double checked this and we actually took a photo of the menu just in case this is later in the night but just to prove it it says prepared uh by your table you order the ingredients and then they come out and they prepare it next to your table so we order that and alex goes do you want the ingredients now or do i tell it when the guy comes out and the waiter had a weird response that we didn't realize until later but the waiter went uh you could just tell me now i guess that's fine yeah we're like okay dude Anyway, we order, long story short, mac and cheese comes out, it's not prepared in front of us, and we're like, what? That's really fucking weird. So Alex is like, hey, what? I thought this was table side, it's $15 more to order it uh, this way, why, why did you guys charge her? That's bizarre. He's like, let me go get the manager. Manager comes out and she goes, yeah, COVID, blah, 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 we're not doing it table side anymore, my fault. And uh, we're like, it's okay, whatever, we move on whatever we try to order dessert waiter comes out we're not doing dessert okay that's odd new waiter comes out brings us a dessert menu we try to order dessert off this dessert menu and he goes we're not serving anything but the carrot cake and at this point it's question marks galore i pull the waiter aside and i go hey man what's going on i'm like nobody knows what's going what's in this restaurant and it started to become a joke. We were like laughing at this point. We were like, how come everyone we talk to is baffled? Um, is it April? Right, exactly. I'm like, what is happening? In the at this point, nobody's mad. We're like laughing. 
He's like, we got carrot cake, whatever. And so two people at our table order carrot cake, but they're like, there needs to be no raisins in it. And they're like, there's no raisins in it. Don't worry. We get the carrot cake. There's raisins in it. Nobody knows what the fuck's going on. At this point now, the laughter is kind of, okay, whatever. We had fun. We'll call it a night. No issues here. But then I get the bill. But then I get the bill. And my friend DJ, DJ, I almost said his full name. Me and him are looking at the bill because we got it like that. And the bill says $456. And, and I'm ready to pay. And DJ's ready to pay. Yeah, his name is Dongus Jongus for those wondering. That's what, D that's what yeah. D doesn't DJ work better? And DJ makes an offhanded comment. By the way, DJ, the nicest guy in the world. He didn't mean anything by it, but he goes, I had fun, but I didn't have $456 of fun. And I went, you son of a bitch. You're right. This was not four hundred and fifty. And then now I'm looking at now I'm looking down. Where did all this fuck? What is, what is this bullshit? We got like our second and third choice here. What's happening here? And I look and I see something that makes me so pissed off. It says on there, $35 surcharge for lactating manager. They charged us for when she came over and lacked. Okay, I'm sorry. They charged us for the macaroni and cheese and not only did they charge us for the mac and cheese, cheese, there was a pre-added almost $70 gratuity. And I was like, you're out of your fucking mind, bro. And that's when I went to the table and I'm like, guys, either I'm going to complain or I'm tweeting about it. Your call. Right? So then I, I tell the, I, I bring the waiter over and I'm really nice to him. I'm like, hey, I got to be real with you, bro. I'm in disbelief y'all are charging us for the Mac at the full price. And to add on to that, it seems like nobody here has any clue what's going on. I'm like, I don't know what the situation is. We were giving him the opportunity to be like, I'm new. I'm so sorry. Nope. He goes, let me go get the manager. This dude was criminally gay, by the way. Not that being gay is... Anyway, manager comes out and she's already talking to me like I'm nine. And, and this is where... Oh my God. Well, actually, due to COVID, it, you know, the, she starts talking about how restaurant production, all this shit. And I'm sitting here. I'm like, do you know who you're fucking talking to? I'm number 36 on Twitch. I own eight restaurants in the Southern California area. I know all about restaurant production management. Excuse me. And I cut her off. <clears throat> she was so rude. And I dunked on her so hard. She didn't know what to say. I made her cry. No, okay, she, nobody cried, but and I didn't really dunk on her. It was just an awkward exchange. I'm like, I cut her off and I go, ma'am, I understand how COVID has affected everyone, but if something on the menu has changed, then change the menu. And if you didn't have time to change the menu, then inform your staff because there is no excuse. Here's where it gets really good. I'm like, there is no excuse for that waiter taking our order and it being served in that way and then getting charged. And then she hits me with this and then here's the slam dunk. Here is the slam dunk on this bitch. She goes, well, after it was brought out, I actually came out and I, I talked to the nice lady, Alex, and Alex said it was all good, so I thought we were good. And I'm like, I understand that, but you're still charging us for it. And she's like, well, she said it was all good. I'm like, so you're putting it on your customers to ask for a refund for a service you charged that you're not offering. I'm like, isn't that on you to not put the customer in a position where they're, they have to uncomfortably ask for a refund? Oh, and I, on, if you don't believe me, five witnesses, on God, I said that to her. And she's like, sir, I can take it off right now. No problem. I'm like, fuck you. Like, okay, thanks. What in the world is this restaurant? You could do some research if you want to figure it out on your own. I'm not going to say the name. I've already said enough where you could really, really accurately narrow it down. I'm not gonna tell you, I'm not encouraging anybody to do that. I would not want anybody to do that. I'll tell you right now, we've been to rest. I've been to my fair share of shitty, great, amazing, and spectacular restaurants, right? And we've been to, I've been to like a steakhouse with my friends and the steak will come out. This was in Vegas, steak will come out. This isn't, uh, I, I'll never complain, but we had someone at the table go, oh, this isn't uh, medium rare. It's closer to medium. Can I get medium rare? It's okay, no, no, it's no big deal. They come out, they bring a new steak. We check the bill, they comped the whole steak. They comped the whole, they didn't even say a word to us. They just comped it. 
all right i'm not saying i expect that level of service because i don't not at all but i do expect motherfucker to not charge for a service that you lit oh, borderline lied to us about oh my anyway 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 that's what really happened that night that's what really happened not oh i know i'm not the asshole and I'll have you know, I still t I tipped one dollar. <laughs> they took out, we got a new bill. They took out gratuity, and they took out the. T uh, well, I think it was like twenty-five dollars. They took that out uh, for the mac and cheese, and I tipped a dollar. I tipped one dollar. They watched me too. I was livid. I paid with cash because I didn't want them to have my name or anything about me. Uh, so I paid with cash, and uh, I tipped one dollar. And when I was when I was counting it from my wallet. The waiter and the manager stood there and watched me. And I was like, you think I'm going to stiff you? I would have if they weren't watching. <laughs> I tip extremely well for normal service. It Even on bad service, I will tip 10%. But, oh my God. I got into it with a manager. I'm out, bro. I would have dined and dashed. I was literally telling this to everyone, too. I was like, bro, we're in New York. Let's just do it. Let's just leave. Fuck this whole place. Also, I went and I peed in their bathroom and I didn't flush. Get fucked, you fucking losers. Pants. And you know what's funny? I had this conversation on the, in the Uber on the way home. I said, you know what? She probably walked away from that exchange and went to her little dumbass Karen bitches and was like, oh my God, this customer was so annoying. Oh my God, he argued mac and cheese, right? But you know, you know for a fact she had a conversation with that waiter and other waiters later on that was like, make sure to tell people it's not table side anymore. That's all that matters. That's all that matters to me, baby. That, that, I'm the winner, baby. I know you had that conversation either that night or the night after. Legit scam though. Oh, there's no excuse, bro. I could, I, well, she said everything was fine, so we didn't take it off the bill. What do you fucking mean? Do I, do you now understand why I said I almost hit a woman? Am I in the, am Seven I in the clear now? Our ginger king. Welcome could you imagine back. how differently that would have gone? Just threw myself at her. Thanks, you goblin king. You'd see me on the news. <laughs> in finally, at six Number 36 months. in Cannot jail for participate assaulting in the next manager. Why are people spamming house fire? Alex, get out. Get out. Of I got, there was, there was some really, really lame drama on Friday. Not going to get into it. And uh, I was supposed to do a subreddit. Not going to get into it. But... Uh, there's, there's, there was someone who came to my sub, my subreddit, by the way, which just shit posts, nothing, spe my subreddit is very run of the mill, a fun little place for people to meme on stream and meme on me and, and so on. Right. And there was a thread asking for clarification about this l really stupid drama on Friday. I am not getting into it. Chat, please ban people who try to get into it. I'm not joking. Time them out or ban them. Okay. So this person posted on my subreddit. Uh, in the thread, unprompted. Now, I'd like to say right at the gate, uh, I'm a fat man. I'm a fat man, okay? In a perfect world, I wouldn't be a fat man. Uh, my chat has fun memeing on me for it, okay? My friends have fun memeing on me for it. It is what it is, right? Okay, this guy came to my subreddit and commented this. You ready for this? Unprompted. Just wait, just wait, it gets good. This guy came to my subreddit and said, Dennis Richardson, that's me, is a fat idiot. Okay, fine. Then he went after Alex, and he said, and his girlfriend is an overweight, dumb whore. Alex, how did that make you feel? Sad. Sad. Broke her heart. So, my good friend Ham and Cheddar, he decided to go to his profile and made a really strange discovery about this young man. So we're like, all right, it's probably some 14-year-old nerd. Oh, he actually got banned off Reddit. I can't click his profile anymore. But don't worry, we have it cached. He made it, he's made two posts on his profile. Two posts and the rest comments. All of the comments were LSF, just shitting on people. Two posts. One post was, am I shadow banned? The other post was him saying, hey, I tore my pec yesterday. Should I maybe go to the doctor? Ladies and gentlemen, behold the internet troll master race. I'm, I couldn't make this shit up if I tried. This is the guy who, God knows, in his 40s, maybe 50s, 60, 70 pounds overweight, came to my subreddit, attacked me for my weight, attacked Alex 
gotta be projecting. Alex probably looks like every woman who never wanted him. I can't, I, I li- I'm telling you, when this got brought to my attention, I was like, there is no fucking way this is a real human being. Behold, ladies and gentlemen. He looks like my father's age. Like, he looks like yeah, a grown yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. Like, this dude is involving himself in 20-year-old drama. Yeah. What the fuck? He must have a very sad I couldn't believe it. I couldn't. This right here is a man who has failed. I want everyone to just soak it in. Take a second, okay? And just please, bully me in my chat, but for God's sake, don't look like this. Because if it, I mean, this is, a, this is the fattest L of 2021, and it's going to hold its own for at least six months. Male ghost nipple. This is the fattest L. Anyway, guys, uh, I thought that was really funny. Uh, because y- y- you think, you think like, oh, maybe it's some 14 year old kid. Don't get involved. You never expect to see someone twice your age, mm-hmm. you know, and, and he's pushing that BMI. Holy shit. Anyway. All right. So there's that lame drama. Don't want to talk about what caused it. Not worth it. Trust That's me. True. It's not even worth it. Um, so back to what I was saying about my father's fridge. Okay. My father's fridge, Alex, by the way, you're not a dumb overweight whore. In fact, you, uh, you look great. You look great. You really do. That dude, that dude would, 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 uh, would, uh, would, I'm not, I'm gonna stop talking about him actually. <laughs> that, that's the kind of guy who's gonna show up and try to kill us. I got into a multi hour long debate with a group of friends the other night. And I need everybody in chat, if you're not an honest Abe, okay? If you're not an honest Abe, you need to go. Because right now, I'm having a conversation with just the honest Abes in chat, okay? I recently bought my dad for Christmas a brand new fridge because my dad lives obviously in the house that I grew up in and one of the funniest shitty poor people things we had was our fridge. Uh, This fridge was absolute dog shit. Um, Not only did it not have the high end features, obviously it didn't make ice, it didn't, you know, have water, it didn't have a filter, not obviously didn't have those, but even more so. Uh, it didn't work well. The light didn't work in it, so it was always dark. Just no light. They know already. <laughs> oh, they know. Oh, yeah. Okay, great. Great, great. I decided to get my dad a new fridge, and I got him a fucking state-of-the-art. This thing this thing will suck your dick if you open the right door, man. This thing makes ice in any fucking... I, just, I was like, you know, my dad deserves it, right? So, shouts out to my dad. Also, if you don't think I love my mom, I also got my mom some nice shit, too. Uh, I got her a purse filled with money. Uh, my mom... <laughs> keep in mind, my parents are criminally poor. Um, I'm not lying. My parents are. So if anything, they're more deserving of it than I am. So, uh, and they raised a pretty, a pretty pog champ dude, right? Yeah. Pretty- like only hits women sometimes, right? My dad will be your dad in spirit. I pro- my dad's such a cool dude. I guarantee he's not here right now. He gets me snacks. But my dad takes care of everybody. So my dad will be your dad for this, uh, the rest of this conversation. Okay. So I got my dad a fridge and uh, a conversation was started between my dad, okay, and my brother. My brother, uh, this is important to the story, otherwise I wouldn't say it, but my brother is a Harvard grad. My brother's uh, wife, my sister-in-law, is a Boston law grad. Very smart people in the family. They got all the brains, okay? So, I got my dad this fridge. I'm going to put up a poll now, and then I'm going to explain the poll. But this is very important. They're saying our, our brother, brother and our, our sister-in-law. You guys are taking... Guys, I, I, I love the role play. I appreciate what you guys are doing. Stop. <laughs> um, so, so, so autistic. I love them. They're actually adorable. So I have a question to chat, and it is of the most importance that you simply answer and don't Google. I'm only going to keep this up for like 30 seconds. Just enough time to read and put a one or two in chat. Yeah, no, I, it, dude, it's, I a, it's, it's an attack to get a response is what it is. <laughs> Which you'd expect from someone like half that age. Yeah. And, and, and half that BMI. Uh-huh. And the poll is... Yes! I'm not a fucking retard! I told all of you! Okay, now let's give the context. Yes! I want every single person who put a two in chat to know that there are people in this world who are going to try to bring you down because they think you're retarded. Condensation ice makers in fridges do not exist from our Google search. Now, let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. 
Okay, let me explain. I know, thank you, thank you. It's shocking, right? Okay, let me explain. <laughs> I bought my dad a fridge and he's like, I can't use the ice maker. And I'm like, dad, why not? And he's like, I don't have water pipe hookup. And me, and I sat there and I gaslit my entire family. I go, Including me. I'm like, dad, it's 2020. What are you talking about? We have condensate that makes, it pulls from the air to make ice. My brother stepped up to the plate. I put him in his place. I, I, I must have just taken control of the whole conversation because I was like, no, 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 bro. What do you know? Suddenly now everyone's on my side and my dad's like, wow, I must have been out the refrigerator game too long. Like, holy shit. It makes ice that way now. Okay. So that sat, that has been since Christmas day. I'm talking to my friends in discord two nights ago and I go, Hey guys, uh, you know, what if something comes out of, uh, and I was like, yeah, but we actually, we don't have ice. You know, like, how is it going to make, uh, oh no, no, no. Okay. Sorry, what I actually said was, yeah, and our fridge isn't working too because the ice maker's not working. And Peanut goes, yeah, no shit, you know, no shit, idiot. You don't have water. And I'm like, you don't need water to have an ice maker. This brought the whole conversation to a halt. And he's like, how do you think ice is made? And I'm like, it pulls condensation from the air while it's refrigerating. Okay, it makes ice by cooling the air to refrigerate. That creates water. Okay, and that, that water is then frozen, filtered, and given to me as ice. My friend Kratz, who, by the way, is 40-something years old, he starts <laughs> laughing at me, and he's like, oh, you think a fucking ice fairy? He, oh, he called me a retard so many times. <laughs> okay. I was shamed in front of so many peers for being, how could you be so stupid? Okay, they, they, weren't, they weren't mean at all, actually. They were, they was, it was actually quite lighthearted. But that being said, I, they were actually really, admittedly, they handled it better than most other blunders that people make in our Discord. That being said, uh... I was like, okay, before you write me off as a freaking retard, before you just write me off, Ooh. sorry, let, let me prove to you this is more common of a belief than you might think. So ladies and gentlemen, I may be retarded, but one third of you are just as fucking stupid. And you know what? I'm going to call some of you out. UPS links. I saw you put it too. <laughs> I saw your name. You're a smart... Like, yeah, I am saying names because people are going to turn on me. I saw some of you motherfuckers. Now, now that being said, I'm going to backpedal. I'm stupid. I'm, I'm kind of fucking stupid. I'm actually really fucking stupid. But that being said, I'm not alone. I think the funny thing is, is oh, you're, he, you're intelligent enough that when people presented the opposite, you convinced me and many other people that you were right. Like, I was like, oh, without a doubt. I'm like, you are so confident. I'm like, yeah, oh, I guess so. I'm like, that I makes did. sense. I did I do guess. that. I did, you, know, you want to know my argument? Here, here, tell, tell me it's not condensation. It's not condensation. Alex, Alex, do you know how far, like, technology has come since when we first made fridges? Okay, when you, have you ever had, like, a portable, um, like a portable air conditioner, it leaks and it fills up a little tub. They have that shit so much more advanced. Like we're buying fridges in, we're buying fridges in 2020. You think they're still using water? See what I mean? Yeah. This is what I did to my, I, I thought I was right. Yeah. Okay. Now, now, now hold on. You now it's funny. You made up this whole backstory and this whole scientific, like, I didn't think I was making it up though. <laughs> um, and I feel so, now here's the best part though. You would have had to make it up though. Cause you didn't read it anywhere. I, it, yeah. Yes, but I no, no, no. But I, I wanted to be clear. I wasn't trying to lie to you. No. I thought I was right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they're, they're calling it Wi-Fi water. <sighs> Shut up. Okay, hold on. Now, now here's the thing. Good news, bad news. Bad news is I was made to look a fool in front of all my friends and now my audience. You suck. The good news is, we don't have a broken freezer. It just that's it's all tied to the water because we don't have water in the house right now. So it's all tied. So I was like, all right, because yeah, yeah, yeah. literally, <laughs> this is so funny. The day before my friends found out this about me, Alex and I were in the kitchen talking and she's like, fuck, we gotta call fridge air or whatever. And I'm like, why? And she's like, cause the fucking ice doesn't work. I'm like, ugh, we gotta call him. It's not condensating. Here's what I'm gonna keep saying, okay? And people hate this, but this is true. It sounds good if you don't think about it. Yeah, could you imagine we called fridge I'm so like, glad we didn't like, call. Our fridge is not working, it's broken. Oh, what's the problem? Oh, it's not making ice. It's like, Dude. oh, did you check the connection? It's like. Well, our water's not on, obviously. <laughs> the water's not on, but it's not. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> what do you mean? They're calling. They're saying it's. What? They're saying 5G fucking water. It's so funny, dude. Um, okay. Are you smarter than an ice maker? <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny to see people in chat when I when those videos pop up. Or like, obviously, they're obviously attractive women, but 
there, it's a little tongue in cheek, right? We are memeing to an extent. And then you, it always brings out these actual weird incel people. Like I saw someone in the chat go, nice pussy. As if they're like, as if they're speaking to this woman or something. It's so fucking funny. Oh, dude, I'd tear that ass. I'm sure some of my closest friends do this. And, and, and this is what worries me. I'm, I, if you browse Reddit and you comment on the NSFW content, I am worried about you. It's one of the creepiest things ever. I'm sorry, but like, like I'm, I, I, I'm sure there's great people who do it. Like re genuinely good people that do it. I just think it's kind of weird. Now, that being said, I, I use those comments. Those comments do help me, right? Like, oh, here's the source of it. Here's, oh, you know, here's more of this person, this model. Great, that's awesome. But like the people, I swear to God, go to any Reddit NSFW subreddit and go to the top comment the people who are like damn i will fuck that pussy what the fuck who are these people but yet they're in every single thread like yeah oh my someone just said beautiful smile oh my god so true bro it's literally yeah it's literally some chick you know fucking she's 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 bent over you know asshole to the camera and the top comment is nice smile sweetheart <laughs> I don't, I know some people in here are probably sitting here like this right now. <laughs> you know, like, like they're those people. You're not bad people. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just, I wonder what's going through their head when they're commenting it. You know yeah. what? Let's test Thanks this. Thanks for the laughs. Reddit R, uh, um, titty drop. Wacking How do you those spell big it? Titty claws. I act like it didn't autofill. Come on. Come on, Wubby. All right, well, what I'm, just, you just I'm not said even going to look at the right post. I'm just going straight to the comments. Still love you anyways. Go straight Thanks to the for the 14 months. S see, Sunday. okay, this is my point. Thanks I for challenge everybody right pandemic, now. You, you don't even have to look at the NSF. I, I'm not even looking at anything NSF. I wish I could show it. Um, I'm, okay, the top comment on here. The top comment. Well, my day is a lot better now. Thanks, smiley face. <laughs> Who's, who are the people doing this? Who are the people doing this, bro? This is the first, first search. The second comment, gorgeous. Thanks for your great drop. <laughs> Who are these people? It's the weirdest shit I've ever seen, dude. Perfection in its finest. <laughs> oh my God. This is an amazing drop in all honesty. Made my day. <laughs> There's nothing to be exposed here. It's just like, who does this? You know, like, maybe I did this when I was, like, 12. I don't know. I don't know. I'm covering my bases in case someone finds, like, a nine-year-old post, you know? But, like, in my adult life, I have never commented on some fucking sex content like, mmm, baby, let me, let me sniff, as I say as I'm purging all of my Reddit. <laughs> Those tits are off the cheese. Right, refresh the comments. Stop. Did you guys go in there? Hold on. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Come on. Okay, you guys are brigading and that needs to stop. Then the top comment now says, it's Hi, everyone. Wubby is upset with you. My dick is hard due to pay money. Wubby, Wubby was here. Okay, simp. Okay, buddy. Re this poor guy is going to come back and like, should never made that comment. I can't show this shit. Hold on. Is there any other new comments? I'm going to sort by new. You guys are toxic, dude. New comment. Beautiful smile. <laughs> Vince isn't even in the post. <sighs> wow, beautiful. Day made for sure. <laughs> I just came to X. Okay, we're off here. I'm done with this fucking subreddit. Y'all are y'all are borderline pedophiles. <laughs>